already chat I have returned and I just realized there's a major problem here. Uh, that guy jumped the boundary and I don't have field data here, so uh I'll probably just overlime that all to Hannah Montana, huh? Uh thanks for the welcome back. Appreciate it. Old man, how you doing today? Oh man. Alright. Anyways, that was fun. I guess we need to um, actually, you know, climb this field now. All right, Trent. Weird flex, but okay. Uh, why are we still using this? We shouldn't be using any lime right now, right? Interesting. Yeah, the precision stuff. It shouldn't. Uh... Hello, train. Hello, train. How's it going? Hello. All right, let's use a little. Whoa! Uh, <laughs> whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa! There's no hive train. There's no hive train. Golly. Golly gosh! All right, let's finish this field up real quick. Why not? We're here. We might as well. Just saying. You're playing some farm sim. No way, old man. No way. Train looks small. Are you sitting next to a train in real life right now, Trent? <laughs> Uh-oh. Thought we were stuck in the creek for a minute there. Like, oh no, Elm Creek strikes back. Oh no. That would be kind of funny, actually, not gonna lie. But that's all right. Okay, so, uh. Yeah, we need to lime everything that we own right now. That's gonna be the, uh, objective, uh, for us right now. Go ahead and get everything limed. And then we'll be in good shape. Oh, okay, Trent. I got you. I got you. By the way, the guy the guy that lives behind me was totally out messing with his garden. It's 3 o'clock. That's what he does. I think he actually gets home from work right at 3 o'clock. I think that's what it is. And then he goes and messes with his, messes with his garden. I could be wrong, but I think that's what it actually is, Trent. JR, it is going, man. How are you? Uh, welcome in. We are, uh, we're working, man. We, <laughs> we barely have any equipment or any land. It's, it's kind of nice going back, you know, going back to Elm Creek. We're doing it. We're doing it. We have one achievement so far, so we're getting there, you know? I don't know if this needs any more lime. I didn't have data when I bought this when this dude started here with while he was hired. So we're just going to check it. Wow, Trent. Wow. Get out the shovel. I think it's just he does that before he goes in for the day, I think is what it is. He comes home, checks on the garden. He'll cut the grass. If, oh, he cuts the grass on the weekends usually. Yeah. Planted corn, there's never enough plowing. Wow. Wow. All right, so we're just gonna go up this way. We'll go ahead and I guess do this pass. We gotta clean up some endros, of course, but that's all right from the hired guy. Oh, now we have no data because we're not in a field. Look at us. But it still knows that it needs lime. All right. All right. Well, let's go. So I know that update eight is out, but beyond that, honestly, I haven't looked into it. Um, I heard that there's still um, issues is what I heard. So I probably uh, won't be checking it out for a while. 
uh to be honest so yeah that's what i heard that's what i'm thinking tower towers yeah 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 i did see those are a thing i haven't watched at like any youtube videos or anything about the updates so i guess you could save the information that i have seen about it's kind of been second hand in a way i did see the the uh, power towers though i have seen that but that's about it yeah i've heard that some people are having trouble and some people aren't so and i personally don't like playing a game that crashes and stuff so i don't know why i play railroads online because <laughs> that game can crash on a regular basis you betcha but it's okay. It happens. That game has autosave now. It's like the best thing ever. And I'm getting off on a tangent here, but it is the best thing ever. Autosave in a game like that is just awesome. Absolutely awesome. Oh, there's the other drain tile inlet that's on the top of the hill because that makes sense. <laughs> Maybe it's still allow air into the tile. Maybe that's what it is. That's probably why, right? totally not but okay totally not but okay right I know I don't like crashes no 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 thank you not typically a fan of that but you know it's one thing if I'm playing a game like offline uh, to have it crash or something that that's one thing but to me it's like when you're playing a game and it crashes on stream I just want to like be done playing that game you know like, all right let's go play farm some <laughs> we'll play something else the way I feel anyway half the time so yeah What are we going to need? Like, uh, maybe we might get by on one spreader load. Might be a spreader load and a smidge. Not bad. Oh, the blue screen. Oh, God. I remember those days. The blue screen of death. Windows 90, uh, Windows 95. I remember that on a lot. Back in the day when the computer was, like, a total piece of garbage. But, you know. It happens. Definitely happens. That's all right. All right. So as far as equipment today, Chad, I don't think we're really going to buy much. Because, like, I do want to go look through the mod hub and find, like, you know, maybe some kind of plow, which I know I bought a subsoiler, but maybe some kind of plow, maybe some little auger wagon or something, you know. Maybe some classic tractors, even, but classic, but like bigger. I don't know. Maybe some two plus two. Oh, hey. Maybe some two plus twos. We'll see. We'll see. But I think I do want to go through and look and add stuff. Uh, I just, like I said, with my lack of sleep the other night and trying to catch up, I didn't, didn't, uh, didn't get to it. So there's that. It's all good. So I'll make sure to do that tonight. I do have to fire Rust. Figured out a heartbreaker in Rust last night, chat. They have the automated crafting in Rust where you can set up to basically manufacture stuff for you without you having to do anything. A little auger wagon like the Parker one. I Maybe a uh, bigger spell. I'm not sure which one exactly it is. But yeah, something like that. Or maybe some gravity flow wagons even. Never know. Make machines. Wow. But, uh, um, what was I going to say? The, uh, auto crafter in, in Rust, you cannot auto craft fireworks because you have to have a blueprint to whatever you're trying to auto craft, and you cannot blueprint fireworks. So every firework that we're going to make for our 4th uh, of July spectacular 
I'll have to queue it up in my inventory and probably just walk away for a little bit because you can queue up a whole lot and then just walk away. So it's going to be a whole thing, chat. A wagon farmer of the north. We might. We might. I mean, you know I want to use an auger. I want to go. I want to use augers on this map. I want to. That's, that's how I wanted to store grain. I want to use augers. So I'll probably get that drive over auger eventually, Vegas Bull. I know you said it was good. You liked it. I do believe at one time. So I'll probably end up with that thing at some point and uh, probably tear down that bin site that's there and maybe just take that field and make that all bins. Or uh, I would like to push the creek out again. Get rid of the creek and just make a decent sized homestead here. Or I go somewhere else and do that. That's a possibility too, you know. I don't have to do it here. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in. How is it going? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, I don't have to make my homestead here. That's the thing. I could uh, I could go wherever and make my homestead on the map. I liked what we did last time though on Elm Creek. I really did. I thought it turned out very, very, very well. Very nice. So we'll probably try to recreate that a little bit, but we'll see. We might, we might not. You never know. All right. Rot reverse, Terry. And uh, shift those lines a little bit, because why not? I don't have my GPS line saved right now, so I can just do whatever I want. Plus, I'm in here by myself, so I can really do whatever I want. Obviously. That's all right. It's all good. I know achievement hunting starting out with this equipment. May not be everybody's cup of tea. People are busy playing other stuff, whatnot, so it's all good. But this will be what I'm doing Saturday. Uh, whenever Stevie's next map comes out, we'll probably switch that to Saturdays and maybe like Tuesdays or just Saturdays. I don't know. And then run this the other days of the week is what I'm kind of kind of thinking for now anyway so that could be uh should be kind of fun for a while to kind of go back and play some elm and just do things a little different around here you know that's pretty much what it is just doing stuff different normally you know we run four or something big combines and whatever and i got that little tiny guy right now that's all there's probably some smaller modded combines that it would be cool to get to. Just saying. There's a lot of mods that I've always looked at. Like, yeah, I want to use that, but like, eh. You know? <laughs> nice farmer, Ryan. Nice, nice. Uh, John, I don't have to, no. There's really nothing in the Platinum expansion. I mean, I like the truck. The one truck, but at the same time, the truck that we used on the last map was awesome. So we'd probably just use that on the next, like, CV map, you know? So no, we don't have to have the Platinum expansion, no. No. Waller, do you see a farm sim? Uh, were you online on, on Discord? Okay. Awesome. I'll have to look at those figures. Well, I would say, I thought I already added Wallert to this, though, Sean. I thought I already added him to this. Uh, It's the FS server. I swore I added him to this already. I guess I'm wrong. Yeah, Wallert, type in general in Discord. I swore I had to do already. My apologies. My apologies. I got it, Sean, by the way. Oh, you just said, okay. Up, 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 up. All right, you have it now, Wallet. There should be a channel on your left side there. Man, I thought I already had it, you. Yeah.
All right, so we're just going to let this set for now. I don't really know if my cedar can fertilize or not, to be honest. And we're planting soybeans, so actually fertilizer doesn't matter. So. Uh, except for our one field, field 50. Is that planted too, technically? Uh, field 50 is technically planted. Um, let's check its fertilizer. It could probably use a lot of fertilizer, so never mind. We're not going to let this sit. We're going to go get us some fertilizer real quick. What we're going to do. And we'll go ahead and fertilize that. that uh, that's barley, so. Might as well fertilize it. Get some more yield out of it. Just saying. We will definitely, uh, at some point when we expand the homestead, we will definitely incorporate a buy everything point. Because, uh. Driving to the shop all the time to buy pallets of fertilizer kind of kind of gets old, you know what I'm saying? Just saying, I'm just looking chat randomly, don't mind me. I'm just looking. But yeah, so it gets it gets old after a while, so. Uh, uh I'm gonna guess four. Probably gonna be way too much. That's okay. Whew. Chat, do we need a tractor? We don't need that. We might want that, but we don't need that. <laughs> LA'd be great with that subsoiler. <laughs> you get a whip and nay nay. Alright. Finds me whip. Watch me, nay, nay. Watch me, whip, whip. And watch me, nay, nay. Why won't this fill up? Fill? Did I buy something besides fertilizer? What did I buy? That was fertilizer. That's not, that's not fertilizer. <laughs> Yeah, why did you guys let me buy road salt? Why did you guys let me buy road salt? <laughs> Anybody want to make some uh, french fries? Yeah, I got plenty of salt for y'all. Like... I got any taters? Winter's coming. It's winter right now. Gotta think ahead, huh? Well, I mean, I guess we need a salt spreader at some point. <laughs> you know, in fairness, I've never used a salt spreader, okay? In farms, never once. <laughs> All we need is snow. Do, 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 do. All we need is snow. Snow. Snow is all we need. Something tells me four, 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 four thousand. Words are hard. Uh, may not be enough for where we're going. Just remember where we're going. There's no roads. I mean, there is, but like, there's no roads, you know? Bing bong! Be there, 0313 cheered Dex 100. Don't take the grief off of chat. Buying road salt in the summer gets you the best price. January. Ah, <laughs> uh, bear those to the bits. Uh, Jod, I believe that's just the in-game small plow, my guy. It's just the in-game, uh, small plow. I, uh, do believe. Yeah, it was Leonard. It was this guy right here, which is a 12 horsepower, 0.5 meter, 
uh, plow and you can get with a narrow hitch too. Yeah, he put that on a, like a quad or a big John Deere articulated, I believe, 9R. No, no, Yuleberry, there's no road salt achievement, unfortunately. Classic equipment. Don't get Vegas Bull started. Is that a 12 or 14? <laughs> Well, it's 0.5 meter and it's two bottom. You you figure it out, Vigorous Bull. How about that? 0.5 meter and it's two bottom. Figure it out, bro. Farming is going great. Welcome in. Welcome in. Do, 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 do. All right. So, chat, we had two fields to fertilize real quick here. 50 and 51. No big deal. No oh, big deal. 210. 210, I would think it's kind of a rare plow, but you never know. Never know. But yeah, farming is uh, farming's going. We uh, we got one achievement so far, and that is the collectibles. Otherwise, achievements will happen eventually. Uh, maybe a little slow for some people's liking, but... We will get them eventually. I mean, I could have cheated in like a bunch of money and stuff to do it that way, but that's okay. And I do know there's an achievement to have $10 million. So that'll probably be the last one we get on this. <laughs> or actually, it'll be right after a soybean sell-off party. Because uh, y'all better buckle up for a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of good old uh, soybean spam. All right, chat. Y'all better buckle up now because about to get real on this map. I have a feeling. Because remember, we got to have money to buy cows, pigs, chickens, sheep, all that stuff. We got to have all that money, chat. So, kind of a whole thing. Do we own? I wish we could own this. I would put the beehives all around that trailer. All around that property is where I'd put the beehives if I could. But unfortunately, we can't. We cannot. Sad times. Uh, I believe the achievements are the same across the board, yes. I could be wrong, but I do believe that they are the same across. That is not the right width. Yeah, not at all. Okay, I was like, wait a minute. Uh, but yeah, say it should be the same. You betcha. I uh, I don't know. It says have ten million dollars. I think is how it's worded. So I don't know if that messes with a loan or not. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, let's go down here because we've already. I'm just gonna start down here. I want to. I want to start down yonder. Way down yonder. All right, let's go. All right, so this will be good to fertilize these fields up. They've been limed already, so these fields should yield out decent. I, everything else is gonna be planted in soy. Uh, and then just soybean spam, honestly. So, y'all better get ready for some soybeans. Just saying, trap. We're going to fast time here in a little bit and do some seeding. Although, I think we have to plow. We have to plow 47 and 46. We have to plow. So, that's going to... That might take a minute. That might take a minute or 12. But that's okay. Like I said, I want to go to the mod hub and find some mods to help with this. Just to help in general with a lot of things, you know? Like I said before, there's a lot of mods that I've always looked at that I'm like, eh, we don't really... That doesn't fit the way that we play, you know? Well, now that I'm doing things a little differently, you know, uh, we can use whatever. Just say it. Use all kinds of weird stuff, which is awesome. It's always a good time. Alright. Pass is done. 
Done, done, done. Get out the tiny plow. I bought a subsoiler, John. Which will, of course, count as plowing. Plowing! So it'll be fine. Say, play save game more than a year old. Tennessee Ice Tea Factory while. Wow, bear. Uh, actually, so that achievement, I have that achievement on my other on my other Steam account, and basically it's really simple what you do to get that achievement. Uh, you just change the, the date on your computer by a year into the future. So you make a save game, you, you start a game, you save it, you exit, you go change your computer ahead one year, uh, change your computer ahead a year, and then reload the game, and then go back to your con <laughs> your computer settings and change it back to, you know, current day. And then life is good. I I totally have that. Plugger told me how to do that back in the day. And it's like stupid low how many people actually have that. It's very minimal, at least back then. Although I'm still shocked at the collectible achievement. Only 2% of people have that. 2% of people have the uh, the achievement for collectibles. And I'm, I'm kind of shocked by that, honestly. Uh, Carson, nice to you. Maybe we'll see. I don't know. What are you going to talk about? Rust? Probably what Carson wants to talk about. Or bad storms. That's a thing, too. I don't have my radar pulled up today. Okay, so technically our 4755 has the most horsepower. It's 214. Gotcha. Uh... It's, uh, it's, uh, it's our biggest horsepower tractor, so we're gonna use this to, uh... Oh, it's at the shop still. I was like, where is it? Where is it? How about... You wanna talk and talk? What, the, what is that? Yeah. 2%. 2% exactly. 0.2... Or sorry, two point zero percent. I'm dyslexic sometimes. Leave me alone. Have that, uh, have that achievement, which is insane to me that that's it. Insane. Anyway, I think Carson's about to come join us, so we might as well like. Hello. Hello. Carson. Hello. Hi. Hello. How are you? Exhausted. <laughs> How was Mo Day? Hot. It's 93 Point. degrees today. Point three percent have it on console on Xbox? Oh my god. That was how much? 93. Whew. But for the record, it's 81 in this room right now. Like, AC is not doing it. 91 here. I was going to get a little radar check in real fast as we're driving back and forth. Hashtag radar check. Yeah, this is the way to plow early game, by the way. Subsoiler. So this is what we'll use to go back and forth across the field a billion times. Already got some severe thunderstorm watches and tornado watches up. No big deal. No big. But what's up with like the panhandle getting wrecked too? Dang, bro. Dang, bro. No rats. Yeah. <laughs> Bear, it's not that my AC doesn't work. I think it's putting out just a little bit too warm of air. But it's like the computers cook this room. I would love, and I, maybe I need to have a serious conversation with dad and try to figure, <laughs> I have an idea of how to get my computers in the house, but not me in the house, just the computers. Which I know it might sound weird, but like, if I could pull it off, man, it would be awesome. Because if I, if I uh, stop playing uh, games right now, 
and uh, leave the air conditioner on, within like 10 minutes, it'll drop 10 or 15 degrees in this room. And it'll be completely fine. So. It's just the uh, simple fact that like, I'm making so much heat. You know? But the server PC would definitely be in the house, so. Um, uh, so I'm running a two PC setup currently. Technically, I own three computers, but one's dad's. It's technically mine, but whatever. He can have it. <laughs> but, um, but I also have like half a computer you just gave it. Who? You. Gave to who? First time. Well, technically, yeah, I gave him basically a computer, and I gave my other brother a computer kind of too, so. And not, none of my old, like, parts ever go to waste. Let's put it that way. It's either going oh. in somebody else's computer, or it's going to Zach, or uh, there's always a home for old uh, old tech around here, you know? Go out, Carson. They're calling for hail tonight, all right? Yeah, very, or, uh, Pepper was talking about it earlier for him. It's, he says it's going to be worse than it was the other day. DVD size. <laughs> so make sure you wear your helmet tonight. But take it for what it's worth. What do you do? Like what's? I'm subsoiling. What's what's back You are thing? lagging around like crazy. Because I'm loading everything. Uh, I could probably fast time, and you can start planting beans if you want. Okay. Yeah. We can turn around here. We'll just do oh. a slow fast time. Find that little tiny cedar. <laughs> we can divide and conquer. Zach's probably do. It's Zach definitely. Zach needs a whole new computer. Gave your brother. Need cultivate or anything? No. Uh, Sean, I don't know if this is counting towards the plow achievement. Again, I'm not. Terribly worried, honestly, about achievements today. I just need money. Oh, this thing don't have GPS. Which one do you have? Massey. The other John Deere does. That's what I'm going to for. Okay, I just haven't spent the money on that one yet. Yeah, but like I said, I keep saying I'm not terribly worried about achievements today. I just need money, guys. And using this is going to be a faster way to go about working up my fields than an actual Are you doing plow. Both fields here. Yeah, uh, so 45, 46, 44, 47, 48, and 49 are all to be planted in soy. Oh, dear. I know, right? If I have to work it, that's fine. Although I did work both these fields earlier, so there's just a few weeds. It's fine. Besides, I'll get a big plow eventually, Sean, and, like, go at it, you know, for an achievement. That's fine. But with our tiny horsepower that we have, this is the biggest, like, thing that counts as a plow, but, like, you know... Like I said, I'm not worried about achievements right now. If I get some today, cool. If not, well, that's fine too. It's all about money right now. Expanding the operation. That's what it's all about. Uh, but anyway, as far as getting the computers out of where I'm at right now, which Dad says, oh, just put them in the unconditioned part of the garage. And I'm like, that would cook the computers, y'all. Cause it gets, it could be like a hundred degrees in the other part of the garage. You know, at least it's only 81 in here, you know, <laughs> but, uh, although it's weird, it doesn't feel 81 at all. Like I'm not hot sitting here right now at all, but humidity is pretty low. Uh, but anyway, the wall that's in front of me is the, the, the end wall of the house. Like the inside of the house is directly in front of me, right? And directly on the other side of that wall is a set of stairs going down to the basement. So I've always thought it would be really sick. You know, there's a lot of wasted space in which making this happen is sounds sketchy and it is, but there's a lot of wasted space in a stairwell, right? And so I've always thought you could totally go in the stairwell up a little bit and you could totally put a shelf in there. Okay, you could totally put a shelf in there. And on said shelf could totally be uh, my computers. You know? 
I don't know why, but since we switched to self hosting, every time you turn on and off your GPS, I hear it ding. You hear it too? Yes. Kind of weird. Uh, so yeah, we could totally do that. Can't stand anything about 70. I mean, typically I like to keep this room around 70 degrees, but it's 93, 91 degrees outside right now, so it's fine. No, Sean, in my house, you get to the attic from the garage. Uh, technically, I don't have like a firewall up there like you're supposed to in modern houses. We don't have one of those. <laughs> Our house was built a long time ago. So like the garage is open to the attic. There's no attic access from the inside of my house anywhere. But I always thought like that would be way cool because then I just I would have to have some kind of hole in the wall, which of course we could put all the wires through, but then you could pack it back with insulation. And really it's not that many wires. It's it's all the video wires that I need. And then really you only need like one USB per computer. An Ethernet for each computer. And that's really it. This power would come from in the house. Which there's no power in the stairwell, but I can we can make that happen. What month uh, are we going to? Uh April. Um, 47, that's what I thought, but I wasn't sure. All right. So that would probably alleviate like 90% of my heat issues out here. It's just literally getting the computers out of this room, which would suck for the winter, but like, it'd be fine. <laughs> I just don't know how you get the computers on the shelf. I haven't quite figured that part out. You pick it up and set it there? Yeah, but it would be like over a stairwell. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it would be like over an open staircase. If you want to get real aggressive, I would say you put a door, some kind of door in from the garage to that shelf. But then you're talking like, you know, probably like you'd have to mess with drywall and framing and all that stuff too. So I don't know about that one. But somehow if we could do that, man, that would be just awesome to get to the computers inside in a, in a, uh, I mean, it's nice in the house. It's 73 degrees in the house, you know, I can get power in the house, Sean. That's fine. I can get power to it. Don't, don't worry about that. That's not an issue. So that'd be slick if I could make that happen. Or even, I don't know. I mean, wireless HDMI is not a thing that's like any good. I know that's out there, but like, it's not really a good thing. No, there's a lot of good ones. Is there? Yeah, you have wireless transmitters. I looked at some reviews a while back and everything I've looked up was garbage. Maybe I was looking at really cheap ones. Yeah, ours are also like eight hundred dollars a piece. Yeah, see, I don't think I'm not spending eight hundred dollars. <laughs> that's just for one set transmitter. Yeah. yeah, I'm not. Times out by three, you. No. Three penny. No, I'm not doing that, bro. But I don't know. I don't, I don't know. It would be awesome if I could get the the computers in my house somehow. It would be awesome. Or just, you know, middle of the kitchen table. <laughs> we don't really use my kitchen table for like a kitchen table. It's the catch all in the house is what it's used for. <laughs> this is right in the middle of the kitchen table. I don't know how I get my wires out here from the kitchen. That would take some really long wires. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that's where I'd like to put the server PC, Sean. Yeah. But see, I'm, I don't know. I've, I've been contemplating too. Like, do I remote access that computer or do I try to like run wires out here too? I mean, technically I'd only have to run like one video and one USB. So that wouldn't be like super difficult to do. But how far is it from there to your bottom room? Well, I might run that far. Um. 
So like as the crow flies or like as you have to run wires? As you'd have to run a wire. Probably a good 50 feet. You'll be fine. <laughs> Let's say. I don't. just ordered a 100 foot HMI cable. Yeah. So you'll send HMI I'm that far. Pretty sure I have a 100 foot HDMI cable somewhere around here. I don't know why, but I'm pretty sure I do. You could just put a little screen and mouse and keyboard there and then just remote in from over there. Yeah, I don't know. See, because I think it'd be cool, at least at first, just to make sure everything's good. Like, just hook it up to the wheel monitor, the wheel setup monitor. Well, and, what like, you really could have do it run over is there. make it so you could remote into eat, like any PC on your network. Yeah. So then in the mornings, you can just like sit down at that computer. No. Work on the ones out in the garage. No. No. <laughs> no. I want to get up here where there's sunshine. Back when I used to have my setup in my room, it was so depressing, bro. It was like mother. seasonal depression, but like four days a week, okay? Because <laughs> I just wouldn't... There were days where I would hardly would leave that room. I'd come up for food, and I'd go back down to that room and, like, stream all day, you know? And then, hey, I'm done streaming. Oh, it's dark. It's like, oh. No, I'm, I'm, much, I'm a much happier person out here where I can see... I can see sunlight. Well, what you need nice. to do is just... You know? Just get your cameras, have them up on a whole bunch of extra screens, put like little window overlays turn, over the video. Feed. You got to turn the brightness up all the way on the monitors. Yeah. No, I know, Sean. Hey, you know, ultimately at the end of the day, the only person that it being 81 or 82 degrees in here by now, uh, the only person that it affects is me. <laughs> so... I guess I complain about it, but like, that's whatever. 81.5. But only 20% humidity, so it's a dry heat. It's fine. <laughs> or something like that, right? It's fine, Chad. It's fine. So, yeah. We've gotten into the days now where it's so humid when you just walk from your, like, you can auto start your vehicle, but by the time like you get out there yeah. from your house, you're already in a sweat. Yep. Yep. It's one of Definitely. those days where you walk outside and you sweat just blinking. Mm -hmm. You betcha. All right. April showers bring good looking soybeans in May. All right. In May. Sure. Did you get the overnight variety? Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Bear was up. Hello. 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 Can you hear me? What's up? Oh, nothing. Just uh, going to jump in with you guys here in a little bit. All right. Uh, Waller, it is in the Discord channel in the pin post. Please do not say it uh, in chat. It's a secret. We're secretive with our name of our game and, of course, our password. <laughs> and people might say, oh, the name of the game doesn't matter. It does. Oh, it does. It's secret for a reason. So that people can't figure out what the secret mod is. <laughs> That's the real reason. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, what was I gonna say? You know, I could put if I could if I could convince old uh, first time to clean up a little bit down down where his computer is. I could Good luck. potentially. Uh, listen, hear me out. He would love this actually. So his his. There's like a room at the bottom of our stairs. And that's where his desk is, right? And it's huge. Mm -hmm. It's actually countertop. Dad built it years ago. And it's actually made for like three people. But he just like kind of took it all over and it's his, right? Yeah. I guess two people would probably fit there very comf comfortably. But anyway, he's got his triple monitor set up and his PC there and stuff. But to the side of him there's like some old bookshelves i think there's encyclop encyclopedias there from like a billion years ago you know yeah that we could probably get rid of because i'm sure they're they're nasty because they've been in our basement for like a million years mm -hmm. but anyway if i could get him to clean that up i could put my pcs right there and just run run my pcs basically where his setup is that would help for networking reasons there would help for power and he's always cold in the summertime and in the winter. So guess what? 
free heat for a first time. Ooh. That's actually not a bad idea. Dude, I could put all three PCs like right next to each other right there. Now yeah. we're talking about a win-win situation. Dude, I could have like the gaming, the streaming, and the server PCs sitting like right next to each other. How sick would that like photo be? <laughs> hmm. This makes the flex picture even better. The flex flex picture will have to have like an edit of like that. I mean they're not like pretty PCs. They're uh, just uh, yeah. picture in picture. Yeah, picture in picture flex setup. Yeah, John, I know how our computer cases look, don't worry. Yeah, they're not pretty. That's they're kinda solid. Yeah, yeah. Hard to see in them. Gotta start looking for another uh case for the uh, what's it called? Server computer. PC. I want something with a lot of fan capabilities. You know what you could do is since you're gonna start turning off your main computers. They were off last night again, yeah. That takes the bot out, right? It does. We could put the bot on the server PC. Say so you could put the bot on the server PC. That's a good idea. Because it doesn't take like jack to, to run it, like, like computer power wise. Yeah, 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 yeah. That would be the only issue, Sean. I would probably, and I, I hate to say this, but I'd probably have to run some extension cords. I know you're not supposed to use them in a permanent setup, but like, whatever. <laughs> if done right, it's okay. Just saying if it's done right it's okay and i'd probably even use one of those like kilowatt things so you can plug in like figure out how much you're actually drawing you know it's a whole thing i'd probably do that too because yeah that's a great idea it'll probably never happen but that's a great idea and then i just need like one of those uh I need like just I would just need a hole for some wires then to get out here to the garage. Which could totally be done. Yeah. We own the house, let's just cut holes everywhere, it's fine. Just put brush plates on them. Niles, like that's it. that's savage. I know you put Kappa there, but like there's some truth to every joke, and that's just that's just savage, man. That that hurts. That cuts deep, bro. <laughs> just saying. Wow. You guys don't realize my dad and I have wired like the entire farm, just the two of us, okay? And, you know, it's great. Back in the day, my grandpa had one or two light bulbs and one outlet in our in our shed. Well, two if you count the welder outlet. He had a welder outlet, a regular 110, and two light bulbs in the entire big shed, and that was it. And we've got outlets everywhere. You're not more than like 10 feet from an outlet ever in our shed now and lights everywhere and yeah that's gotcha, sean i mean you guys do have to remember um i'm kind of a, a, a lighting slash electrical engineer with all the christmas stuff i've done over the years you know what i'm saying you definitely figure out what's too much to put on an extension cord when you're doing Christmas lights, okay? I have almost burned my house down at least. We'll stay once. <laughs> at least your outlets haven't changed colors. Well, so back in the day, I used to use on my front porch, uh, in the front porch light, I always used one of those things you could screw in the front porch light, like where the yeah. light would go, and mm -hmm. then give you an outlet, right? Mm-hmm. Because like, hey, during Christmas season, if you need light out front, just turn on the Christmas lights. It's fine. So yeah. I always used to run my gutter lights off of that. Well, I had these really sick gutter lights that had, uh, they were icicle lights, mini incandescent icicle lights. But across the top of your gutter, it had, it had uh, C9s, mm -hmm. incandescent C9s. And they were sick looking, right? I was like, man, you get the classic with like the icicle. It's really a cool look. Dad came home one night. And it wasn't even quite all the way dark, but the lights were on. And, or maybe he had been out shopping. He came home, whatever. And he goes, what smells like burnt fish outside? I was like, fish? yeah, like burnt fish. And I'm like, I have no idea. Like, somebody, maybe somebody's cooking in the neighborhood. And he's like, no, nah, it's really strong right outside the front door. And so we, like, we both ran outside and we start, like, touching it, extension cords and stuff, making sure nothing's hot. And he grabbed the cord that was plugged into that that socket and at that time he just barely touched it and the whole socket just melted 
and just came right out. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> so needless to say, that was the last year that I used the, the front porch light. And then I only got through the rest of that season using those lights and I got rid of them. Bought LEDs. So. The Xbox doesn't have GPS. What sand camp? The Xbox version does not have GPS. I have looked at Lands of the La Matcha, but I have never actually played it. I kind of want to, though. I think it'd be... Uh... Oh, hey, uh, Carson. Uh, don't, don't, don't do that field. Okay. R44, okay? Okay. I'm gonna go plow them real quick, because they both need to be plowed. Okay. I didn't realize it until now, sorry. Oh, man. What about this field? Okay, you're gonna have to do this field, too. Okay, which one? No, I already did that one. 49? Alright, it's, it's, it's fine. 49 to 48 and 47. No, you have to. I can't see through it. Oh, you can't see through it. Okay, I got you. What are you guys having problems with the game? Hey, what's up? <clears throat> we are. <clears throat> we're loading in, right? Uh -huh. So it allows us to, con to try to connect to your game. Uh huh. Uh, I'm stuck on zero percent and spinning. Oh. It seems Waller has the same issue. Oh. So we've tried reloading our games, backing out, back huh. trying to tie back in. So something's this, something's kind of funky with the connection for some reason. You know, I don't know what I. S I can we can I can find your game, and it prompts me for the password. Yeah, I don't know how many what the max player is. I said it at honestly. Maybe that's oh. what it is. Yeah, I don't. I don't. You know what? I was in a rush today, and I didn't look at that when I started. That might it be should it. say on the server list. Oh yeah, right, it should it. actually. Yeah. So multiplayer achievements, it works. Uh, basically, I'm the host. I'm self-hosting this game right now. So the game is running just, you know, when you go to multiplayer, create a game. That's how we're doing this. And whoever the host is gets the achievements. Now, having said that, if the boys want, I will gladly share the... Uh, to save with them eventually like when we actually get a bunch of achievements unlocked i'll gladly share the save so that they can get achievements too that's how we're yeah. doing it it says two of ten so two you have ten. ten yeah okay i don't know that and i even checked it in the details i mean it, it works but it, it is what it is are you guys' game versions the same i mean i'm assuming if they're on steam they have the latest update yeah i'll double check Right? It should be like whatever, 0 .1, 0 .1, 0 .1, 0 .1. <laughs> There's a lot of point ones these days. <laughs> There's a hot I fix the other day, yeah. Field. Do what? Field. Oh, what? I know what I know what to do. What's that? Manage uninstall. There it is. <laughs> oh dear. I mean I could restart my game. I will tell you though, like there's literally two jobs right now. I mean, yeah, I guess I'm, there could be I'm contracts, good. too. Contracts. Contracts. There's always contracts. John, you're going to have to come check this out. What? Going to have to do what, Carson? Ooh, you're going to have to drive big. down here and visually see this. What's it doing? Just, like, you have to come check it out. On my way. Yep, look, at all the, look at all the bailing contracts. <laughs> I didn't even look at them. Carson distracted uh, me. There's just a whole list of billing contracts. Not surprised. What are you down and doing? You can barely even tell where I've been. Oh my god, that's impossible to see where you've been. <laughs> I was like, am I even doing anything? <laughs> are you? Yeah, it says I'm seating. Uh, so I have to run with my row marker out uh, in that field. <laughs> to make sure I know where I've been. Oh my god, so I gotta do this field too, huh? No. Oh, wait, yeah, that one. Yeah. And 45 and 45. That's fine. I could cultivate, but honestly, this subsoiler is not bad. It's actually wider than the cultivator, so. Might as well just subsoil it, right? Mm hmm. Uh, this is only near impossible, though, so it's okay. <laughs> you have GPS? What are you talking about? Yeah, except for like. <laughs> you can't tell which row you've done. Yeah. 
Wow. Um, I can try to reset my game. Uh, see if that helps. That's weird though that you guys are getting like stuck at zero because it's not even showing on our ends. Yeah, that you're joining or trying to join, you know. It's weird. Verify your game files. I've had to do that recently on FarmSub. That's always a fun one. I don't know. Oh, rats. Oh, we can't do that. Can't leave a skipper. The minimal texture change is, is that for me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's yeah. You have fun over there, buddy. I could really tell where I've been, so I'm just going to keep doing my thing. I can in the other part. Yeah, just not. Not over there, huh? It sure looks like fun anyway. Let's put it that way. Oh, whoops. What? I seem to find myself in a bit of a predicament over here. Are you in the creek? Yeah, I kind of tabbed out to look at the radar. <laughs> and I'm kind of high centered. <laughs> Uh, you have strong farmer, or not strong farmer, but uh, lumberjack, you're fine. <laughs> I tap back in. I was like, I should probably tap back in. And I lifted up the planner to back up. Didn't do anything. <laughs> Tried to go forward. Didn't do anything. I was like, well. Rut row, Reggie. <laughs> this is life now. Uh, Good rotator. Yeah, right. Right. No skipper achievement. You betcha, you, Yulberry. I'm gonna get that one just for you. It's the no skippers. There's, it's a joke. You'll very just yells at me about skippers. I'm surprised that that's actually not. Is your Steam updated yet? Yeah, after I left Rust last night, it updated. Do you like it? I don't like it. Um, I mean, I'm an American, so uh, change is awful. Um, it, I don't. It's like too big. Does that makes sense. Yeah, they made it like for the heart of. I was gonna say the heart of hearing, but like the visually impaired. Like yeah, I feel like is what they made Steam for now. It's not the right like yeah, aspects just, and size for the screens anymore. Yeah. I like the alerts are bigger though. Like I've I've been seeing the alerts on the other screen today, like from the other account. They're they're bigger. Yeah. I kinda I kinda like that one actually, but my my alerts have now been like put off the screen more. Oh. Like, you know how, like, when a graphic's not made for the screen? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And a phone call. Hold on. Interesting. Hi, Wolf. What's up? How you doing today? Welcome in. If I knew how to fix this, I would. I, I mean, I can restart my game if you guys want me to. Uh, no. Where? Hold on. I'm, uh... I think I'm updating Steam right now. That might be a... That might be a small oh. issue. Oh. See, mine prompted me to restart Steam last night. Like, updated. It has not yet prompted me, but I did just get it. Okay. That could be an issue thing. Uh, that could be why, too. I guess. I don't know. You never know these days. I really like... I got to work on first time on this. I really like the idea of putting my computers down by him. You think he can get annoyed, annoyed by, like, you know, 20... Probably 25 to 30, like, computer fans running? <laughs> he won't notice, right? Actually, in fairness, I don't even hear my computers. Maybe I'm just used to it, but I don't even don't even hear them. Uh, we're doing we're uh, we're we're doing some achievement hunting, kind of working towards that today. I did uh, collectibles earlier today, so that was fun. That was a good time or something. <laughs> and uh, right now we're just. Uh, Actually planting our first uh, our first crop. Carson's over there planting. I'm doing a little uh, soil uh, prep. And uh, yeah, we're doing it. So I'm self-hosting the game. Um, and the way it works is whoever the host is gets the achievements in that case. But uh, we're going to try to share the save around then if, if the guys want it to 
to get their achievements as well. So, and we're starting over. I started with a new Steam account today, so I have one achievement, and that is the collectibles, which I think is pretty cool. Oh yeah, it's pretty darn cool if you ask me. All right, let's go. Let's do it. Ooh, maybe I get real fancy. You know how you can put like wall outlets in your walls for like HDMI's and stuff? Maybe I do that so I just have like outlets out here. Ooh. That's too fancy. Can't have that. Can't have that. But it's definitely uh, interesting going back and using like, you know, tiny equipment and stuff. It is, uh, it is a bit different, y'all. It's a bit different. It's been fun though. As long as I have my GPS, I don't really care how what size equipment I have, you know? GPS should be base game, should be on console. But as long as I have my GPS, I'm, I'm happy. Just saying. Gotta have the GPS. All right. I know we're working this field like in a completely random pattern, but that's all right. Doesn't really matter. Again, with GPS. Doesn't matter. All right. Maybe it's because you guys aren't friends with me on Steam. Not why. Yeah, it's probably why. Nobody's friends with me on Steam right now. Actually, the only person that's friends with me is me. I'm my own friend. <laughs> and that's it. Hashtag yep. <clears throat> new Steam account goofing, you know? Your Steam updated then? There. Yeah. It's weird looking, isn't it? Uh, it's a little different. It's different. Yeah, yeah. I feel like it's actually easier to find stuff because it's just bigger. So I, I kind of don't mind that part actually. The hmm? uh, steam, how everything's just bigger, it's like easier to see stuff now. Mm -hmm. I don't mind that. Do you load up rust today, Carson? Nope. No. You? No. Be interested to see when I go in there tonight. Yeah. How everything's changed. Hopefully there's a whole bunch of charcoal. And other things. Posted goats in Discord. Oh boy. Are they just goat pictures or are they glamour shots? Because the glamour shot goat photo days, those were the best. I even showed my dad those. and He's like, what's wrong with people? And I'm like, yeah, you know. It's chess. That's, that's what's wrong with people. <laughs> it's like nothing. These are amazing. What are you talking about, Father? He's not easily amused like I am, okay? Just saying. That's all right. All right. What was that? Oh, that storm in the panhandle <clears throat> of Oklahoma just got tornado warning. Oh, on. I was like, dude, I cleared my throat real loud, and I'm like, I hope my microphone mute button was on when you said that. No, I've got it. I've got Red oh, Omega yeah. to play that noise. Oh, okay, because I you're, totally forgot about it. Because you're under the gun here soon. Sean, what? Did you shave your head? I had to go shave 10 pounds off. What? You get some liposuction real quick? Like, what What, what are you talking about, bro? <laughs> is it time for Sean Sinclair's, like, sh uh, summer shearing? Is that what it is? Go up there, sorry. I, I think he might be... He he may have visited a certain room in his house. Or, like, yeah, drop the rounds off at the Super Bowl, or... <laughs> like, what's the stretch, Sean? 
Because uh, if it's those, I, that, I don't need to know about it, you know? What? 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 Hmm? What? All right, Carson, hmm? I'm done on this side of the creek. Okay. Once I get done with this pass, I've got to bounce. So. Bounce with that one. Okay, that's fine. Shave the beard. Oh. I didn't know you had a 10 pound beard. That's kind of something. Quite a beard. Um, <laughs> you can restart the game if you want or something. I, I think I'll try that here in a minute. Yeah. Cause it'll only take me, uh, actually it takes a surprising long time to load. I don't know if it's like the mods that I don't know. It takes forever. Maybe we go gander through the mod hub chat. You want to do that? I never do that on stream. You guys want to go gander at the mod hub? David Moon 5, what's up? How you doing? Oh, it's a joke. Alright, sorry. Sean. I gotcha. Hi, Carson. Be safe from your storms. Have fun with your CD size hail later today. I don't think it's the idea to do that here. I just saw it's in that area, but. I Oh, really is it like that shape like flat with a hole in the center like how's that work i, I mean i wish they would use the term donut it sounds more appealing mm, than you know dvd but donuts be a pretty, that kids probably don't donut. even know what dvds are yeah and one of the weather groups from my area the, the guy that posts in there he goes for the for the kids in here that don't know what a dvd is <laughs> and then he put the dimensions of a dvd in <laughs> Same funny. dimensions as, well, as a Blu-ray. How about that? They, they got to know what a Blu-ray is, right? Probably not. Not anymore. It's all streaming. Right? Like, Bear, do your kids have, like, Disney movie on, like, uh, DVD? Yeah, some of them, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we um, still get Blu-rays for, like, the road trips and all that stuff. Okay. I gotcha. Five figures. VHS. <laughs> Gotta love the old VCRs, you know? Alright. So your map says one of ten now. Okay. And I'm trying to log back and let's see if we can just for some reason it, it's not accepting the fact that you put ten in. Yeah. VHS size hail. Run for the hills. <laughs> Dude, you better like Go hide under some concrete somewhere. Speaking of concrete, okay, that bridge collapsed the other day, right? In Philly, right? Have y'all heard what their plan is now? No. They are in the process. I think they'll have it done today. The removal of both sides is the other side was definitely like it got hot. So they have right. to replace it too. So what they're going to do in the meantime is they are going to actually backfill that giant trench basically that's open where that lane used to, or those lanes used to go under they're going to backfill it with this product that's made from recycled glass uh, and it, it almost looks like stone but it's made from recycled glass and basically what they're going to do is they're going to put that in there real fast and it doesn't take a lot of time to compact Global fill. basically yeah. so they can <laughs> dump that in there really really fast and then they're going to pave on top of it uh, three lanes in each direction. Okay. And apparently that's going to be, I guess, in the center of the highway. And then on the outsides, they're going to start working on building bridges. That'll be three lanes in each direction. And then switch traffic to those and then build the, the bridges back in the center later. But basically, they've got to get traffic open. Like, it's, it's you wow. know, crippling that area. So... I was like, "That's that's a great idea, actually." I'd I'd love to see the bill, that, that option, that operation, just right? truck after truck after truck after the, truck. They said it would the dump trucks would be police escorted, like police escorted dump trucks bring in this like, it like I said, it almost looks like rock. It's kind of weird looking, but yeah, I was like, "Holy cow, man!" So yeah, they got to remove what's there, and then they're gonna. They're going to go crazy hauling dump trucks. I can't imagine, like, at night. They'll probably oh, run, yeah. like, hundreds of dump trucks. Yep. And... Can you imagine the deal that they've struck with wherever they're getting this stuff? Yeah. 
They're what's, just like luck. What's we the price? Want, yeah, we don't care. We want fifty thousand yards or whatever. It is. Yeah, now. Yeah, just stay open twenty four seven starting this day. Yep. Okay. Yep. It doesn't matter what it costs. You're open. <laughs> and to us only, probably. That's also correct. Yeah. They have that kind of pull. Apparently, the governor of Pennsylvania is like all about it. And he's like, he's jumping in. And apparently, like, it's not just a talkie head like point like most politicians, apparently. Like, he's boots on the ground and talking to the construction workers and they're working yeah, 24 yeah. hours, you know. That's going to be a pain in the rear. <laughs> oh, I can't imagine. Not all the other stress you got to deal with being the construction people, but. Right. Oh, yeah. Now the governor's in your back pocket. Right. To, you know, they got to do things. Yeah. Uh, if you do get to a stopping point, um, I can once I get done it, with this field. Yeah, if you if you don't mind, I, I will. Mean, oh, because I definitely take the help. Yeah. Uh, Vegas Bowl because there's an underpass. I mean, there's a that's a highway exit is what that is. So that was an exit that went underneath the highway. Eventually, they'll want to open that exit up again. But it's a we need to fix this like right now. And apparently the governor was asked like a timeline for fixing this. And he just looked at the cameras and goes, we hope to surprise you with how fast it's going to be. I was like, oh my God, I can't wait to see this. <laughs> like I'm so invested in this bridge collapse. It's crazy. And I don't live anywhere near it. Of course, I kind of wish I did. Like, All right. When, when, when is the 24 uh, seven am going up? Oh, I wonder if there is one already. Dude, some news agency out there totally should do that. Or somebody that lives close or... Yes, somebody totally needs a 24-hour cam on this thing. I would watch it constantly. <laughs> Feel like, oh, another dump truck. Another dump truck. Another dump truck. <laughs> so what I don't quite understand, I guess... I don't know if you have to put some kind of retaining wall in there with it. Like, how do you hold that stuff in the center, like, six lanes, you know? Yes, yeah, so what they'll probably do... Mm -hmm. Just do sheet shoring. Oh, I didn't think about sheet shoring. Yeah, probably. <clears throat> yeah, just drive sheets. Because that's fast. And who cares about the roadway that's down there, right? And it has, yep, it, nobody cares. So they'll yep. probably cut that up. Drive some sheets you, in. Yeah, drive true. Drive some sheets in. Yep, and hey, that, that would make sense. Up, and won't we'll, and we'll blow up the sides. Yeah, and you can get that done like pretty fast too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, r relatively, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I got to finish a couple passes here and then I'll, uh, Tat, we're going to go make a gander in the mod hub really fast. Or do you guys care? We just not. Ooh. Maybe we won't. I don't know. I don't ever look in the mod hub. Really. The downloadable mod tent. <laughs> Wait, there's a tent? <laughs> Wait a minute. That's does a have three ring circus. Does it have air conditioning? Oh, <laughs> uh, I was like elephant. Leaves, Sweet. Though. Yeah, okay, so I've been to a circus a few times with elephants. Okay. The the funny yeah. thing to me is always the guy with the bucket and or like a a, a trash mm -hmm. can. Yeah. And a shovel. <laughs> and then, you know, when the elephants go number one, they just cram the, the trash can between their legs. It's so funny. I know I'm weird, but hey. Does it have a kitchen to cook deviled eggs? I don't know. It's a... Uh... That's a sore store. That's a sore spot, Jazz. Wait, wait. Vigorous bull, you might be my hero. <laughs> he found it. Bear, it's a thing. <laughs> no, is it really? <laughs> yeah, it's a thing. <laughs> okay, I can't watch it now, but like, I'll totally have it up later. <laughs> what are you talking about? We're we're gonna switch from farm sim to <laughs> watching. Excavators. The construction. Yeah. Uh, I see four excavators on the screen. Right now. <laughs> anyway, all right, chat. So we're gonna drop the game really fast. Um, even if we don't go, let's. We're not gonna take a gander in the mud. We'll just drop the game really fast. And then I have to drop. Uh, I gotta drop this so you guys don't see my. Uh... Oh, you know what? I should probably reset my game all the way out, huh? I'll do that. All right, the game has been closed all the way down. Apparently, I have an alert on Twitch. Or not on Twitch, on uh, Steam. I don't know what it was. I didn't click on it. But anyway, I'm reloading my game. Probably a friend request from Wallert. <laughs> I don't think... I didn't say what my 
name was. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Okay, it he definitely really says good. 10 people. Okay. It could be a friend request from all I don't know. <laughs> Fingers ball, I can't believe that's actually a thing. Oh, man. That is so funny that that's a thing. Oh, man. I wonder if they're going to have to, like, redo the abutments, too. Like, it, did that concrete get hot enough that they're going to have to take that out, too? Wouldn't surprise me. Sean, I decided just to get back in the game, you know? Just get back to it. Nothing happened to it. I just decided to get back to it. See if Bear can join now. Hopefully he can. And Carson's able to join, right? Wait, does that not? Why is that not washing the subsoiler? <laughs> That's weird. Yeah, nothing happened to the mod up. I just decided to get back to the game. We have stuff to do. By that, I mean seed right now. Success. Working now, huh? Well, it's up to 95%. It's done on my end. Uh, Sean, I did. It didn't. It wasn't going to. Wasn't gonna work. All right. Well, I gotta go for dinner. I'll, I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bye. It is about that time, though, isn't it? Bye bye. Uh, go. I'm over here. <laughs> uh oh, man. <laughs> are we using seed right now? Yeah, we are. Okay. All right. <clears throat> you want me to try to. Lock down a, a contract real quick, or do you want to wait until? No. Yeah, you're good. Be fast. Uh, on. I just promoted you uh, to farm manager, so you can do whatever you want. Yeah, I mean, if you want to do a contract, that's fine. There's plenty of, uh... although those Balian ones aren't worth nothing. They're all the small fields up north, aren't they? Ugh. Fertilizing contracts for days. Holy cow. Yep. Um. Uh, what the dog do? Weeding contracts worth one hundred and twenty-two dollars. Boy, sign me up, chat. Sign me up. I don't. I don't know. Very small. It might be. It might be. Yeah. Uh, I know a guy in real life that would love to have one of these little cedars for uh, a deer uh, deer plot. Just saying. Love to have a little cedar like this, chat. Go 78 10, just getting it, you know? It's revved up too, it's loud. That's okay. Um. So yeah, grass. Okay. Really the contract I would want is 71. But you got some what do you got? Fertilizing? I got fert 68, 70, and 10. Okay. Oh yeah, big fields. All all oats too. A lot of oats. Oh well, good thing I do have that fertilizer. The John Deere has GPS. The uh the Massey does not yet. Or did you get something? Right. Uh, no, I just grabbed the Massey. Okay. I'm going to grab a little weight for it, and uh, I'll put... You want me to put GPS on it? Yeah, I was going to say, you can put GPS on there if you want. Okay. Buy whatever fertilizer you need, you're good. Fill that sucker up. Well, I really don't need a lot of fertilizer around the homestead since, you know, got to be planting a lot of soybeans. <clears throat> So that's one there's a, there's a bunch of fertilizer already bought here. Oh, wait. That's road salt. That's road salt. <laughs> NASCAR fan, what's going on? How are you? Uh, yep, road salt. 
Glorious, glorious road salt. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Okay, it happens. The, uh, man, tonight might be a night for weather to watch. Holy cow. One of them nights again, chat. All right. I got it. Let's go. I got to talk to first time. I, I really like the idea. I'm stuck on that now. Put my computer is down by first time. Computer. I love the idea. <laughs> There's not really room, but like we can make it work. Just saying. We have one big cedar. You need a lot of contracts. Okay. Wait, raise pigs and then brine them? <laughs> That's not an achievement. <laughs> raise pigs, turn them into bacon. Achievement unlocked. Wait a minute. Wow, very bull. Sounds like certainly awarding. Right. Or rewarding. I love the world we live in where it's like, that should be a thing. Oh, wait, it is a thing. Love the world of technology we live in, you know? So awesome. So awesome. $112,000 one? We need to be checking sales all the time, Chip. 100 I don't know which one you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about, bro. No idea. I mean, we're doing fine with this guy. Okay? It's tiny, but like... Oh, the contract. For $112. I don't know. Okay. Come on, Trader, let's go. You can do it. Nice tramp. Okay, did Carson see next to me or no? Looks like he did he did. Okay, it's really hard to see where what's been seated here. Rolling that out there. Like, after planting pumpkins yesterday, I could not tell where we planted pumpkins. It's like, I know there's 40 seeds out there somewhere. I don't know where they're at, but they're there. <laughs> I know there's 20 on this side of a flag and 20 on that side of a flag. But other than that, no idea. Hopefully, uh, well, it'll be a little bit. There wasn't a, a lot of moisture or anything in that ground, so... We could use uh, use some rain this weekend here, which we have a pretty decent chat. Chat, I do believe. We did yesterday, anyway. I don't know if it's still there. Or if they took it away from us. Come on, phone. Oh, they took it away a little bit. So 70% chance of rain on Sunday. 40% chance of rain on Monday. Personally, I'd rather it rain Monday than Sunday because we're supposed to have a big day planting pumpkins Sunday. We have some family come to the farm and help out. Dad's uh, one cousin is all about planting pumpkins. He, he What he really likes is bringing his grandkids to the farm. And uh, they, they don't really help out, but he helps, so it's okay. It's all good. Supposed to be doing that uh, Sunday. 
we'll see. Definitely by the calendar, we need to be playing pumpkin, so. Yeah. So most likely, even if we have to mud them in, say it rains, it rains Saturday morning or Sunday morning, I mean, we'll probably be out there Sunday afternoon playing pumpkins uh, either way. Just to get them done. It was a little toasty out there yesterday planting pumpkins, let me just tell you. It was a little warm. It was one of those days when we got done out there and came in the shed and I was like, my sleeves are soaked. I was wearing long sleeves, of course, and I'm like, my sleeves are completely drenched. That's what, all right. Wow, very useful. I'm assuming one of those entrances is under construction and the other one is not. That's fun. That's fun. Interesting. I did remember to put, uh, to turn off automatic application. Rate oh, turn it all the way down. Yeah. And, and turn it all the way down. Yeah. Hashtag cheating. Let's go. Hashtag playing with inside the rules. Using the game again, I start advantage, right? Right. Bet. And you have the small spreader, so like, <laughs> it's okay. Oh no. What? I forgot to put GPS on. Oh no. I got your biggest pull. And you made it all the way. Oh, I'm all the way over here. Oh, all the way up at ten. I'm all the way here. I think it's not a four. That's right. right. It's fine. We're gonna be fine. <laughs> Always get it before the next field. Doing it old school style. Oh boy. Hey, I harvested today without GPS. What? I mean, I only did field forty-five. But what is this two thousand and eight? <laughs> what is this farm sim twenty-two? Oh wait. Wait. Maybe. <laughs> Hashtag still waiting for in-game GPS. That's true. You know, the, we'll probably never get it, and it's going to be my fault. Since, since they don't like me. You know, that John guy. <laughs> John guy really wants it. Let's not give it to him. Just because he wants GPS. In the it's game. only the right thing to do. We shouldn't do it. Clearly. Because I'm such a horrible person, apparently. Don't answer that chat, because, yeah, some people say I'm, but, you know. Well, I think I am not too bad anyway. Just because I want to open a cover of a cedar with N and not Z, I mean, whew, look out. How dare you? <laughs> Might as well lock me up and throw away the key, chat. I mean, come on. Gosh. How dare I want standards for mods in the mod hub to make the game more uh, like new player friendly? How dare I? Gosh. How dare I want a construction uh, simulator style tutorial? tutorial. How dare I? <laughs> Actually, construction sim, that DLC is coming out like at the end of the month. I gotta make sure my controller's charged up for that because I'm all about it. Definitely how are you, gonna, how are you gonna balance this and rust? <clears throat> uh, I'm, gonna... it, I'm just not gonna sleep. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, this will so no difference. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, the achievement hunting will only take place, like, you know, on stream. So that helps a lot, you know? Um, right now, my off-stream thing that I'm doing, you know, it had been railroads. It's it's rust now. Uh, yeah, I even mentioned railroads in that. Yeah. So, like, Friday night, we might, like, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow night. I play railroads tomorrow. Because I just, I, rust, like, there's nothing to do in there that's, like, worth showing anybody right now. I am literally need to, like, do up, uh, uh, like, a... 10,000 fireworks and just like let them build. That's what I need to do in Rust. 
so I'm not looking to like go take on all the stuff you know with the scientist garden and all that I'm not looking to do all that so I'll probably stream railroad rail, 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 railroads tomorrow easy for you to say I know right with no weather by the way because I think that's what was causing our issue last week not the extension pretty sure it was weather but anyway so that's probably oh god I can't wait to cut these trees down chat uh, that's the uh, that's the strat probably for tomorrow's play rail railroads online. We just need to go in cab. It's like real life chat. What happened to my frame rate, by the way? Oh, there we go. Unlock my frames. Yeah, hundred frame. Let's go. I'm here for that. <laughs> 